A KwaZulu-Natal police officer arrested on suspicion of murdering her husband, Ntombi Zodwan Tingwa, remains in custody tonight. She and an alleged accomplice, Samek Ompanza, will appear again in the Mbonambi Magistrates Court next week. Now, police believe Mpanza was the hitman. ENCA's Desin Thathia has the story. Ntinga was murdered earlier this week after he was kidnapped from his home along with an admin clock from the SAPS. Now, the pair are facing eight counts, which include murder, attempted murder, as well as kidnapping and robbery. I'm now joined by Lieutenant Colonel Sampiwa Mklongo from the Hawks. Colonel, this is a bit of good news and bad news. On the one hand, all of this was wrapped up in under 24 hours, but on the other side, you are arresting one of your own. Indeed, it is a shocking and a traumatic uh, experience that we are seeing here. Uh, our own colleague, who happened to be married to our late colleague, has been arrested. She just briefly appeared here in the Bambonambi Magistrates Court today. This is not the first such case that we are seeing where the partner of a police officer is allegedly responsible for his murder. Do we have any idea of what could be the motive in this matter? In this matter in particular, we cannot at this stage say what was the motive, but in other cases, you, we have seen last week Mtunzini High Court have sentenced uh, Mamsile Magwaza to 25 years for the murder of a warrant officer which happened at Melmoth. And we find that the motive it was involving the domestic violence and other interior motives. Mm. But it's a, it's a really traumatic uh, uh, incident that we witness here. But the Hawks members are working tirelessly. As you can see, they leave no stone unturned when they are investigating a murder, more especially of the police, as the murder of the police officers were declared as a national priority crime. As you can see, they made a breakthrough within a few hours of the murder. Colonel, talk to me about uh, this investigation uh, at the moment. Where we are now, is she seen to be the alleged mastermind? I just want to understand the structure of the suspects, those that are here and those that are still outstanding. The information that is at our disposal at the moment, she is fully involved in the murder of uh, Warrant Officer Gosnati Ntinga. She knew about it. That is why you can see that she was left behind and he was taken together with the administration clerk who was later found on the road after she was allegedly thrown out of the moving vehicle. And you can see the manner in which our colleague was brutally killed, those multiple gunshot wounds. They tell something that there was some brutality, brutality in this whole issue. But during the trial, we will hear exactly what uh, 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 compelled or forced her or push her to this level where we are now. Because in the SAPS, we have our EHW, we have social workers, we have uh, psychologists that can assist those uh, uh, family members or partners who are being abused or who are in the abusive relationship. We all know that gender-based violence or domestic violence is not a, a, a good thing. Mm. There is a support in the SAPS, but we will know exactly what transpired particularly in this case and just lastly are you confident that you will be able to nab the last suspect soon is his identity known uh, are police confident that they'll be able to find him indeed we are confident that we will find him that is why that as the police we are saying he better bring himself to the nearest police station or to the hawks before we catch up with him all right, that report put together by Desen Sathya.